You just don't crush somebody's $2,000 piece of equipment. That's just not what you do. Like. What's up, world? We are yet on another family road trip. Jeffrey second road trip. It is uh, mom's birthday, so. Woo! Mom's birthday. And uh, yeah, so we're not gonna take too much like driving footage because I got a lot of that and a lot of the other vlogs. Because all we did was drive, 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 drive. Am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. Yeah. So update: trains don't wait for you to get on in Chicago. Jeffrey's first. Subway ride. He gives no. <laughs> Yo, so we are on a mission to make it to Navy Pier. Pier's supposed to be really cool. Lots of stuff to do. Big Ferris wheel. We just keep coming. Keep running into like cool stuff on the way, so we're gonna kind of just explore and uh, take you guys along with us. So we ran in Millennium Park. Never been here before, but it seems pretty cool. Got this cool ass, big ass thing. It is there on a apparently Millennium Park is pretty cool on the way. We're like this live amphitheater. We got some live music going on. I can't understand what they're saying because I'm not singing my language. We came across some kind of mariachi band concert of some sorts. Yo, this was dope. So I'm kind of upset because none of these vendors are open. I'm hungry. Your boy's hungry. I need some food, man. Brian, I need some sunglasses. I need some other stuff. This is the bean. The infamous Chicago Bean. Yo, this bean is like crazy. Bro. You just go like inside of it, all around it. I mean, you could just like duck under this thing if you really wanted to. That, I'm trying to fly the drone up, see if it actually, like, if I can actually lift off. So we made it to the pier. We here, 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 yeah, we're all here. And we don't know what we're gonna do because we've never been here before. So yeah, so that, that, that's kind of the. Hey, Jeffrey's having a good old day down at the Navy Pier. Here, here, here. See how easy his life is. He just like gets to get pushed around. I wish they had made adult-sized like strollers so I could get pushed around. I want to be lazy too. It's the life of a dadpreneur. Yo, so I like totally almost left you guys at the last place we ate. Luckily, they saved you guys and they put you in the back for me. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. Very humble and appreciative that I'm here around great people with my family, alive. You know, cheers to that. Cheers to you. Cheers to being happy. Live more, love more, smile more, be happy. Peace. So, so, so upset right now. So 
so while flying the drone, I, I ran into a tree because the sensors weren't working. I went over to go get my drone and it was totally in, in pieces. And I'm like, how did this happen? I was probably like 15 feet. I was close to somebody whenever it fell. That person decided that he was going to smash my $2,000 piece of equipment. So I'm debating whether I should call the cops or it's like, you just don't crush somebody's $2,000 piece of equipment. That's just not what you do. Like, you wait until they come get their shit and you say something to them, you don't smash their shit. So I'm about to go over there and, and videotape this because this is bullshit. I'll show you guys the drone later. It's totally fucked. I put it in my backpack and it's just not cool. So. I'm gonna go confront this dude right now. Let's go, mate. Of course, the dude left after he smashed my equipment on the ground. And I like, I, I totally feel where he's coming from because he had a newborn and it, it got closer to the newborn. It, it wrecked and I feel bad about that. I understand that. You just don't do that. You know, you just don't. Vandalize someone. Ah, I should have called the cops right then. Right there, I should have called the cops. But I didn't, so. Super glad that I had the, the warranty on the machine. Just the fact that like someone would just pick up a device, just shatter it on the ground, just blows my mind. But hey, go and welcome to the Windy City. Appreciate you guys for following and watching all this. And if you guys are watching, then I love you very much. Go to the website, buy some merchandise, lovelifeluxury.com, that's your channel. If you guys aren't watching already, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and go subscribe, smash that subscribe. The goat. My new friend, Mr. Goat. We've been hanging out for like the last 10, 15 minutes. He's a super cool dude, super chill, just likes to get petted and hang out. And he's like, <laughs> Hey, my name's Mr. Goat, and I really like this water. But you know what I like more? The L3 merch at the RyanHarris.com slash merch. <laughs> yeah, so now you guys met my, my farm friends. Let me recap on what happened earlier. So I was at the, oh, damn, here comes the train. All right, cool, now that the train's gone. So recap earlier, we were at the park, having a good old time, I think it's Memorial Park. I was flying the drone, getting some footage. There was like a malfunction. The sensors weren't working from the back or front or something. I was too low and I hit a tree. The drone fell. I was like maybe 10, 15 feet. That's why I hit the tree. I was trying to get close footage of the fountain. Blase, blase, as you check it here, I'm gonna replay the footage. I was like, oh, the drone crashed. So I gotta go get it. I hear people cheering and I get over there and I pick it up and it looks like. Okay. Mind you, mind you that I have wrecked the drone before and it didn't look like that. I look at it and this guy stands up and he says, I smashed it. What? He said, it fell next to my baby stroller and almost hit my newborn infant, so I smash your drone, you're gonna have to buy a new one. And in utter amazement, utter amazement, I was just didn't know what to think, I was in awe. I just turned around and I walked away. You know, I just, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to do. If I was him, I would be a little upset, I have a newborn also. With that being said, you don't smash someone's $2,500 drone. You just don't do that. That is not the right thing. I don't care how pissed off you get. Well, I went back to go see the dude and he was gone. Of course, he's gone. So now, now I'm stuck with this. How am I supposed to fly this? Yep. I'm like, what? No drone footage is going to be involved in that vlog after this today. So we're going to go out and have fun tonight. Still, hopefully, I don't know. Still kind of in awe from, you know, just, just things that happen. But that's what happens when you you know, you vlog, you know, vlog light, trying to get good footage. Shit happens, trees happen, <laughs> you wreck drones. People get mad, they smash them, and then you just go pay the $200 to get it replaced because you have insurance. So, I have the warranty, thank God, thank God, thank God I have the warranty. We're running out of battery. See you guys in a few minutes, and a little later. I got a dream and a plan, I'm gonna do what I can. Shout out to all of my fans, I don't think that y'all understand. 
And you keep me going with motivation I just be chilling, controlling, hating I look at my squad like we gonna make it I should've known all it took was patience Yeah Y'all keep me going with motivation Y'all keep me going with motivation Y'all keep me going with motivation I be just chilling, controlling, hating Y'all keep me going with motivation Y'all keep me going with motivation Y'all keep me going with motivation I be just chilling, controlling, hating Yeah